uh, probably best go through these fabled, right? <clears throat> so we've got the Duchess. So for those of you who don't know, uh, fabled are characters that are brought in to basically modify the game. Oh yeah, look, we're amnesiac. More on that in a minute. Uh, fabled are characters that are brought in to... Um... Oh, hello, Ed. You're here now. <laughs> are, you, are you okay? He's yeah, saying I'm, I'm, I'm muted, which is part of the problem. <laughs> um, okay. I was coming to ask uh, if you'd seen the fabled and that yep. uh, the amnesiac is Stormcourt this game, and I will leave you to explain Duchess and Spirit of Ivory. Um, okay. Do I, do uh, I get anything tonight? Uh, you will do, but I, I, I've come to you first, so I was trying to remember which fabled that was. <laughs> so, okay, all yeah, right. I'll come Fantastic. back in a bit. Thank you. See you, Charlie. Okay, so we've got the so Fable characters modify the game in some way. Uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of like playing with an expansion, I guess you could say. So, the Duchess. Each day, three players may choose to visit you at night. Each visitor learns how many visitors are evil, but one gets false info. So, <coughs> the you in this instance is the storyteller. So each day, three players can go and visit the storyteller, and each of them will learn how many of them were evil, but one of them will be lied to. Which is an interesting little addition. Uh, Spirit of Ivory, there can't be more than one extra evil player. Um, that's basically a, a fable that's often used on scripts where there's loads of alignment change. Um, so, you know, just to keep things balanced. And then finally, Stormcatcher. Name a good character. If in play, they can only die by execution, but evil players learn which player it is. So, uh, Ed's told us that we're going to be Stormcourt, so that means that we can only die by execution this game. It's the only way we can die. Which is which is pretty good. Question: If Alan chooses three players and the only player who chooses death is protected, do the other two die instead? <clears throat> um, yes, absolutely. Because if they all live, they all die. Even if they, but well, if they can't die, they still live. But the most important thing is that if they all live, the rest of them will die. Stormcatch is not in the wiki yet. You're right. Did he say that he's got Hell's Librarian in as well? Or is that just you guys screwing with me? Yeah, the Goon, the Amnesiac, the Cult Leader um, can all change alignment. <clears throat> Thanks for the sub, Bardic. I assume Assassin overall Stormcatcher 2. Uh, that's a very good question, but I think you assume correctly. For that reason, I don't think we'll come out. <clears throat> Although, having said that, the evils will know who we are anyway. Yeah, this is Ed's 1,000th game of Blood on the Clock Tower run. So he's, uh, yeah, this is a big deal for him. So let's try and make it as difficult and frustrating as possible. Don't laugh at me, but I have a pint glass full of tea because I really wanted my tea to last. I don't have to keep getting up and going to the kitchen. Mm. Oh, wow. Thanks, Jeff. That's incredibly cool of you. He's been counting. Not only has he been counting, but he actually keeps track of the scripts and who, who wins and uh, who loses. Uh, he's got a spreadsheet, and every time he runs a game, he adds something to it. Which is one of those things that I, I love stuff like that. I really wish I'd done that, because I love keeping track of stuff. I love running leagues and tournaments of things. I love keeping track of statistics. That's why that's why games like Blood Bowl really appeal to me. There's, there's a lot of that stuff, as well as RPGs as well. Keep track of things. Make lots of notes. Hoping for a day one damsel win. I'm not. <clears throat> this sub thing's been <laughs> going for ages, hasn't it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute the noise, but it'll still come up on screen. But I really do appreciate all the subs. Thank you. I'm just a, because we're uh, amnesiac. I'm acutely aware that this one might end up on YouTube. We're a storm caught amnesiac, so it's a great it's a great example of a bunch of things in action right here. Should the Pandemonium Institute be worried that Ed has a real brutal amnesiac ability lined up to celebrate? Hell yeah. 
I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, Ed always takes his time on night one, which is probably a good thing. Probably why he never screws up, unlike me. Your ability might trigger an execution, that's true. Although he did say that he's going to come and visit us tonight, so that to me suggests that we have an active ability of some kind. Involves moving the storm catcher. Yeah, possibly. Oh, thanks, Cool Death. That's a very, co very cool of you, and also a very badass name that you have there. Did you learn who is Nikki? Oh God, <laughs> that is a reference right there. If you are executed and the cannibal gains the, gains the amnesiac ability, if a professor were to revive you, would you both be storm caught? I don't think so, because <clears throat> the cannibal isn't actually the amnesiac in that instance. They are the cannibal who has the amnesiac's ability. So it's not like... Um, not hey like ben. Oh, hello. Uh, please choose a player. Uh, let's go with... Oh. Who's gonna who's gonna wanna I'm, I'm gonna go with Chris, I think. You're going with Chris? Yeah. Uh you get a two. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you. <clears throat> right. That that is interesting. Um what's really cool about this situation actually is that we because we are the Stormcatcher. Uh, if Chris is evil, he already knows. Sorry, we're not the Stormcatcher. Because we are the Stormcourt Amnesiac, if Chris is evil, he already knows that. So we could openly go talk to him. Then a random number and get nominated by Nikki. Don't think Ed needs to make that an ability. Um, the get nominated by Nikki bit is going to happen anyway. Number of players between you and the person you chose. It could be something like the number of good players between me and the person that I chose. That's actually a solid idea right there. Yeah, entirely possible. <clears throat> we could just guess that on day one and absolutely smash it, right? You wish here, so please excuse me if this question is ridiculous. With Amnesiac, what are the limits to it? Can you do something like each night choose a good character? If not in play, you are that character for the day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hello. Thanks, Nikki. Um, good morning. Good morning. Uh, before I start the day, very quick reminders. Storm Court Amnesiac. Uh, if there is an Amnesiac in play, um, then all the evil players know who it is. If there is an Amnesia, if there is not an Amnesiac play, all evil players know that it's not in play. Spirit of Ivory. No more than one extra evil player. Duchess. Each day, three players may choose to visit the Duchess. At night, uh, each visitor learns how many visitors are evil, but one gets false information. Note, uh, exactly three players must choose to visit. If a fourth person chooses to visit, then no one gets Duchess information. Um, so that's on town to deal with. Um, I think that's the main things um, from the Fabled. The game begins, let's see if we can end it on day one, like the last Woo. few weeks. Woo. <laughs> yeah, I've already put it in chat, happy to see the Duchess today, thanks. So, the evil team already oh. know this, I am the Amnesiac. Uh, Adam, yep. How yeah, would you Pat know that then? If... Pat, Chris, ahead. day one sus chat, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Actually, Chris, I could really do with talking to you, so, oh no, he's gone. Okay. What, what, what? So, I see how this is, okay. Chris and Evie. Oh dear. Wow. I'll chat with anyone. Go on, Kat. I'll chat with you. All right, let's go. 
So before we have this chat, just a quick response to a to a newer player question. Yes, the storyteller absolutely can choose anything for the ability. Um, they can, and generally speaking, an amnesiac's ability will be quite powerful compared to the average townsfolk because you have to guess what it is, and that's the reward. You get something really powerful if you guess what it is. Sorry, cat. Hello. Hello. Have you got any prompts or information yet? From yeah, I chose yeah. Chris last night and got two. Two. Yeah. So I've noticed that there are two characters between Chris and me. So I'm wondering if my ability is something to do with how many um, such and such between yeah. you and that person. So what I might do is choose someone on the opposite side of the circle to me tomorrow. You've got Chris too. Yep, by all means. Yeah, that sounds like a fruitful place to start. Um, I am happy to hard claim as well, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm the general. Good is slightly winning. Oh, okay, that's unusual. Well, actually, no, it's not mm. that unusual. They always start winning. It depends right? on it depends on the decisions that have been made as well. So uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have anything to offer beyond that. Um, but good luck because you've got one of my favourite roles there. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, it is definitely. All right, awesome. Okay. Cheers, Cap. Cheers for that. See you soon. Yeah. Adam, do you have a preference of who to talk? Let's not leave uh, chat sitting alone in Town Square. Why don't you and Ben have a chat, Adam? <laughs> All right. All right, a match made in heaven. Let's go to the tavern. Hello. Hey, so we Hello. are, am we I are your neighbors. marionette this week? You are not my marionette now. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, I am the amnesiac. Oh. Although, it, do we even have a marionette on this script? No, no we don't. Okay, right, no, good, yeah. Um, yeah, it's I just chose fun to be your neighbor again. Sorry. It's just fun to be your neighbor again, like last week. Continue. Yeah. Oh yeah, but last week I was uh, I was lying to you, right? I think memory serves. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. So um, I chose Chris last night and got a two. Chris two. Well, that I doesn't look good for me. Well, I can't help but notice that there's two people sat between Chris and myself. So I wonder if my ability is choose a player, you learn how many. Thing is between you and them, like how many good players or how many townsfolk or something like that. That would be good. What do you? Uh, that that would be great for me, Ben. Go. Ahead. I would recommend asking that because I would love for you to get bingo on day one. I would also like... love that. Let's ask Ed for a chat. All right. I'm gonna. I'll, uh, oh, do you want to tell me what you are? Or I mean, you don't have to. Like. Uh, sure, I'm the gossip, and I'm going to gossip today that there is no amnesiac in play. Really? Mm -hmm. Fair play. I'll help you out. No, no, go for it. Um... Bye. Bye. Hello. Oh, yes. oh hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, rude. So, uh, quick question, Ed. Can the assassin kill me? Uh, I am ruling no because it's kind of, at the moment assassin versus stormcatcher is um, you know unstoppable force immovable object, but it's clearly the intent of the stormcatcher that the evil team can't kill them. So I'm going to say that we're going to rule on that intent that the assassin cannot kill the stormcore player. I kind of like the fact that the assassin can in a situation where um, there is no assassin, the evil team is lying about being stormcore, and then they kill themselves. There's just some next level bluff involved there, but I I, I respect your decision. True. I mean, in this instance, I I like your decision because it benefits me. <laughs> it's all I care yeah, about. True. I'm not very egalitarian. Anyway, um, yeah, I would like to guess. Ed, does my ability have something to do with me choosing someone and learning something about the the players or their roles that are sat between me and that person? Uh, does it have something to do with who's between so, you and them? Is, so yeah, is, for example, for example, something like choose a player, you learn how many townsfolk are sat between you and them, something like that. That's cold. Ah, oh, that would have been awesome if that if I'd have bingoed that. That would have been incredible. Yeah, but that's cold. Sorry, dude. That's all right. Thank you. No worries. Secret EV. The old tripped and fell into the apothecary and excuse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I think you'll find, Chris, that it's called the Apotheca Rum. Uh, it's got an eye in it. Can a yeah. can a pit hag change a storm court player? Ooh, is that Ben signalling get... to the pit hag? Yeah, can, you, can you do it, Ben? Hopefully not, if you're the amnesia. No, it's yeah, it's Ben asking if the pit hag can change me. I, I've all, I also asked Ed if the assassin could kill me, and he said no. 
which is good. So if it you are the assassin, don't waste right? your yeah. time. Yeah, it has to be an execution, so yeah. Well, there's a spirit of ivory, so only one player can turn evil, right? Yeah. Please turn me evil. <clears throat> we'll just execute you, Evie, and it's no problem. But why would you do that? I'm good aligned. Not for long, by the sound of it. Would anyone like to go for a chat? I could go for a chat. Okay. So to answer that question, be risk management. Off carry him. Did anyone... <clears throat> Hello. Hello. How are you? I am not bad. Yourself? Yeah, I'm good. Um, so What's you great? are the amnesiac. I am. So you cannot be killed. I like it. Well, I can be executed. Well, you can yeah. be executed. Yeah, I know. But obviously, like, you can't be killed by the demon. So hopefully lots of good information come in your way. Yep, absolutely. Um, do, you, do you feel like telling me what you are? I feel, I feel like, seeing as you came straight out with I'm the amnesiac, I feel like I feel interesting. So I will tell you that I am the huntsman on the hunt for a damsel. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. So Very we could handy. be looking at a possible three outside a game, possibly. Yeah, uh, possibly a four outside a game if you've got a godfather and a huntsman. Oh my gosh, yes, that is true. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm kind of in a role swap with someone. So they are going to be claiming huntsman and I'm claiming gambler to try and find me my damsel. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so, so far, no luck. But if you do hear of a possible damsel, then signal my way. Well, what I'll do is if I hear of a damsel, I'll tell them that you're the huntsman because obviously yeah. it's possible that you're lying to me yeah that is true that is true but i am being truthful okay i will send them your way if i find them all right thank you right. very much thank ben. you bye camping or yeah if the in between is tricky mm -hmm. yeah and it'll be a nice just a nice thing to do again cool. basically i'm looking forward to it Richie, do you fancy a chat? Oh, yeah, sure. <clears throat> Pat, do want to talk? Sure, Ben, let's chat. I was trying to click and it kept going down because people were trying to count square, sorry. Um, so, what can I do for you, sir? Uh, the, the, the almighty, I've already forgotten. I'm the amnesiac. Yeah, I know. Um, what, do you fancy telling me what you are? I mean, what could possibly go wrong, Ben? Exactly. You're, well, you're, you're going to be the only person I've actually told the truth. Well, I've, li I've lied on. to a potential gambler, so we'll see how that will work out. But uh, I am the chambermaid. Oh, okay, that's very useful. Um, so I chose Chris last night and got a two. Interesting. I also chose Chris, Chris last night as one of my picks. Between him and another player. Ooh, I wonder if it's one... oh, oh. How, how many players mm. have interacted with that character in the night. Could that be possible? Oh, what have we got here? We've got. Um, uh, we've only really got Sailor. Sailor. Yeah. Sailor and you, basically. And Unless it, right? we're looking at evil roles. So we could try and execute yeah. him. The A makes sense. Possibly. Or the Pucker. That would be really interesting, actually, if he was nominated today and didn't die. Yeah. Be good. Yeah. <laughs> you could you be, could be. nominate him. Um, oh, oh, I probably will for not talking to me anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see how that goes. I don't know how successful that will be, but I can, I can say that there's an evil thing on them or something. I mean, there's, there's ways we could do that, but yeah. Between him and another player, one of them woke last night, so... I'd be curious to see. But yeah, happy to uh, happy to speak to you later on and see if, if any of that further aligns. We can try and do that, and I can try and select somebody who you're trying to select tonight, and see and see if you get any well, more. I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably pick someone at the other side of the circle to me, so like Aggie or something, see what I get. Because I can't, you know, there's two players sat between me and Chris, which mm -hmm. I found quite interesting. But then I've actually asked Ed if my ability has anything to do with that, and he said I was cold. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Well, we're getting somewhere. We'll put this way. Uh, I could just. I'm gonna keep selecting people anyway, and we can consult. And if you don't get anything, if that yeah. gets us somewhere close to your ability, cool. Pick, Works pick Aggie. Me. I'll pick Aggie. You pick Aggie. Uh, pull back Roger that. Uh, good evening, town. 
your normal period for chattage. I will also uh, let you know that um, I'm taking Duchess visits in chat because they they don't have to be public, but I think it's better if they are. You've noted mine, I'm guessing, Danadia. Yeah? Yep. Oh, nice. how many who's, people? Who's visited the Duchess? Pat Me. and who else? I think I heard Adam visit. I think he just wanted to speak to Ed, but I think yeah, we got Adam confused. Didn't but, visit. Yeah, Adam did But obviously, Adam can confirm that because he's here, but I'm not, that was uh, I didn't. Adam told me he hadn't. Who else visited? Uh, Richie's just asked to visit. So we've got someone Adam, else, Richie, who someone else? Someone else spoke to Ed after me. I don't remember who it was. I thought that, it was Chris, but... That, that was so me. Yeah. Well, I, I spoke to Ed after you, but that's because I'm the amnesia. Uh, I don't know. So yeah, I, I, Pat, like me, I visited me. the Duchess. And so Pat and Richie currently are two known people, right? So yeah. So when Ed said he's calling in chat, what does he mean by that? As uh, in, you put it in chat, because it means you can do it any time during the day, and um, anyone can see it. Chris, are you Chris, are we, Chris. Like, happy has, to. Am I, I the first person be... to do it? Pat yeah, did it straight away. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that, was so my, that was the first thing, yep. So Chris will go then. Let me tag Richie, Ed. Chris. Oh, right, right, Nikki, I dare you to be a fifth horse. Go on. Um... Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. uh, everyone who has spoken to me today, as always, I ask for one-for-ones. Uh, is there anyone who lied in their one-to-one -one with me? I, I was going to lie to you, Nikki, but we never I didn't talk to you, so shush. I 100% lied. I'm I lied to you as well, Nikki. 100% I, I lied, lied to as you. well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, no. And then he's going to be like, I nominate um, Ben. <laughs> I, mean, I would like to gossip that Ben is not the agnesiac. Oh, stolen everyone's idea there. You're not the first person who said oh. they're going to do that today. You know, I'm, I'm, that's that's why I'm giving them gossip cover. I would like to gossip that we have either a leech or a puka in the game. I would like to gossip that the cult leader changed alignments on night one. I would like to gossip that we have a Shabaloth in the game, and the, and the demon is a Shabaloth, <laughs> presumably. <laughs> All right, my, my, my phone just started going nuts. Um, <laughs> I would like to, uh -huh. I would like to gossip. There's a Shabaloth in play, and the demon is between Ben, Adam, Nadine, Chris, and Nikki. I would like to gossip that the amnesiac is an evil buff. I would like to gossip. Bad choice of words. Yeah. I'd like to gossip that Chris either will die tonight or can't die today. I'd like to gossip like to that gossip. Ben is the yeah. amnesia. Mm. I'd like to gossip the demon is either a pucker or a leech. I'd like to gossip that I am the cult leader who would like to form a cult. Nikki is calling for a cult. Tell us why, Nikki. So, my reason for the cult. This is Ed's thousandth game. And what better way to end Ed's thousandth game, then on day one, with a cult win. We gotta, we gotta do it for the memes. It's gotta be done. Come on, guys. Emma, Aggie, Noel, Pat, Nadine, come on, rise up. Day um, one cult win. Let's see if you really are the cult leader. On come the on. assumption that there's gonna be bluffs, this is on half seconds. Cult vote going. Come on, Noel, Pat, come on. Not in a million years. Come on, Nadine. I don't believe in cults. Yes. <laughs> uh, a cult is not formed. I'm disappointed in you guys. You vote history, Ed. Our oh, chat really wanted me to vote. Thank you, darling. <laughs> yeah, see what you've done, no Pat and Nadine? You've disappointed chat. I mean, I didn't vote either. I'm disappointed chat more as well. You keep skipping over Ben for some reason. I don't know why he gets a pass. I know, Ben's hand <laughs> yeah. was off my screen. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, I've been married nearly a decade. I'm used to being a disappointment. It's fine. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Nikki, you're mistaking the hands with a leech tentacle, I think. Maybe you should reconnect, Nikki. Okay, I have two things to observe. Uh, one is that... Technically, a mistake has been made, but it doesn't influence you guys at all. It's just I've technically made a mistake as far as I'm concerned. Um, so that's something that people get to d dare me to do next week. God damn it. Um, so <laughs> do you just want to throw in more Fabled into this and you're just throwing a Deus Ex fiasco because we don't have enough already? 
<laughs> no, um, I don't add Deus Ex fiascos after the game started. Um, yeah, there's a completely unaffecting game. Mistake has been made, and nominations are open. I mean, it's just is it, is it the script though. selection? It's oh, letting wow. you play back. <laughs> is there I'm any scared. reason? Is there any reason for me to not be open about what what I'm info I'm getting? Yes. Uh, no. Yeah, I mean, we, the evil team can also deduce from what, what your ability is. Well, they can't and do anything. If you're worth killing. Why can't what? Well, they can't, can't kill, kill me. They, can't, oh, kill, they no. can't kill Ben. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, oh, Ed. Tell us, can like I us. ask? You, can I ask you a question, Ed? What? Um, can the pit hag change me? Yep. Okay. Well, there we go then. Can the assassin kill? Nope. No. Okay. If he's, if wouldn't he be a great leech target? Yep. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't know last night that I was Stormcourt. Evil team knows. Uh, which evil team knows yeah, before yeah, the league knows. Knows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rich nominates Ben. Starting early. Rich, you nominates Ben. Tell us why. Um, I think this would be a good idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Ben, your defense. Look, Richie, you might not like the player perspective videos that we upload on YouTube, but that doesn't mean that our subscribers don't. So there are better ways to influence what goes on to YouTube than to kill me day one every time I'm playing. You shouldn't okay. kill Ben. Ben is six <laughs> required. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's not kill Ben. Uh, Reverse I do think that crowdsourcing um, help for the amnesiac ability. Well, I've um, told like five people what I've got already. Ben is safe for today. Nomination still open. Uh, I'm going to nominate Adam. Nikki nominates Adam. Tell us why. Um. He's in a hard double claim, and I trust the other person more than I trust Adam. Okay, Adam, your defense. You, Adam's defense. <laughs> I think that's what Nikki's getting. I think that's what Nikki's getting at. Uh, I'm in a hard double claim with Nikki. I'm the real cult leader. After this, I'm going to form a cult. Okay, six required. It makes me want to kill both of you. Cults are vital yeah. society. Unless I'm the cult leader, in which case we need, we just win, but yes. Yep. Well, that's true, but did get a uh, well, cult decide. win on stream. <laughs> God, no. End of stream as well. So, yeah. Five. It's not enough. Adam is safe for today. Any other Adam's nominations? Form a cult. Adam wants a cult. Tell us about your cult, Adam. Uh, it doesn't invite Nikki, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Okay, votes for the cult of not Nikki. Again, half second timer. That's really you harsh. Oh, come on, people. It's not, really? an it's not an inclusive cult. Clearly. It's the cult of diminishing returns. It's, it's the least lovely. popular cult ever. It's the cult that does invite evil players and therefore no one wants to be in it, apparently. <laughs> uh, final call for nominations. Uh, we should probably execute someone. <clears throat> Nominate Nikki. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. I was about <laughs> not, to do the same. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> not really clear. Pat, tell us why. Oh, we should probably execute someone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nikki, your defense. I'm sold. Um, yeah, this is probably safer if we do this. Um, get something out of the way. Okay. Six quid. Frantically check the boom down on the script. No. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now let's not kill Nikki. He wants to die. Oh, you just found your goon. I'll let Nikki decide. <laughs> ah, is that so? Five's not okay. enough. They'll, they'll think I'm the damsel if I am voting on myself to die. <laughs> I'll nominate Chris. Tell us why, Ben. Uh, this is really, really uh, tenuous. But I think there might be a chance, a small chance, that he won't die. Okay, Chris. What? Um, I'm not aware of any reason why I wouldn't die, unless you think your ability will protect me. 
Um, I don't think I don't think my ability will protect you, but I think it's possible that my information pertains to you having been chosen by a devil's advocate. But I must stress this: it's really tenuous and purely a theory at the moment. Okay, uh, Chris, anything else to add? Um, I'd rather not risk this, um, based on how tenuous it is. <clears throat> Six required. What format was your info in then, Ben? I mean, have we decided whether I'm going public or not? I'll talk to you about it tomorrow, Chris. Sure. I won't vote on it if you don't want me to. I'll let Chris decide. <laughs> I'll let Chris decide. You put it over. Oh, wait. My bad. Chris is on the block. Guys, can we execute Adam tomorrow? That is really evil. Final call for animations. I may Chris have miscounted the there. Sorry, Chris. 10 seconds. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm sure you did, Adam. Do they count uh, differently over the pond? Oh, Chris. I'll nominate Pat. Chris nominates Pat. Tell us why. Um, I don't think I'm a good kill. I'd rather we tied this and execute me, to be honest. Okay, Pat, your defense. I think we should execute Chris because he's really, really fighting to be alive. And why would you do that in a game that sacrifices good players? He claimed the okay. six to tie. We could tie it. I mean, you guys killed me last week and I was the philosopher. Yeah. Oh, there's Drunk. Like on this Drunk. We should tie this. Chris claimed quite a. Pat, tie it. Get me off the. Come on. Pat. Pat, nope. you're evil. As far as I'm concerned, uh, after much talk of you know me, Chris, and Evie being a thing, what happens at the start of the game? Evie, hey Chris, let's go and have a chat. Mm -hmm. And it was kitty. a very long chat mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. It was a very long chat. I didn't. We always have very long chats. That was relatively short for us. That, that, that is safe for today. Crystal on the block. Ten seconds for any other nominations. We were sussing each other out because I'd been evil four I games in a row. Evie, do you think this is a really bad choice? He one. Of... Why don't you nominate nominated. yourself then? I don't remember if the I'm nominated. The role that you claimed, Chris. I think someone just nominated Evie. I am that role, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, did Evie someone actually just yourself. nominate? Well, Adam did both. I'm not taking... nominated Chris Ed, so that's fine. Okay, cool. Um, Evie's nominated herself, then? Um, can we tie this? I think we did kill Chris first last time when he was the philosopher, and the role that he claimed to me is um, one that can prove itself, if um, I'm reading the rim correctly. Um, I don't want to die because I have quite a good role as well, but I would like to tie this. Hey, it's six to tie, seven to execute. If Chris doesn't die tonight because of all the information around this role, you could just then, I'm, I'm, then I'd be surprised. I mean, there is a kind of in this script, so we probably should kill someone. We should not execute me. Let's tie this. We're cannibal, though. Yep. Evie is safe for today. No one on the block. Ten seconds for nominations. Can somebody nominate Noel? Pat nominates Noel. Pat nominates <laughs> Noel. Tell us why. Uh, Nikki, do you want to take this? Apart from we should probably be killing somebody because that's how, that's how we get information. Um, he lied to me in a one for one. That's as best as I've got. Uh, he also gave me information within his lie. Um, to try and basically make Ben suspicious, uh, which makes me intrigued as to why. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, no, your defense. Uh, Nikki, I lied to you in a one for one because you like to make people claim one for ones, and I didn't want to tell you what my role was yet. I don't think that's unreasonable. I made up some fake savant information. I'm not the savant, but I I would like to be alive for at least one more day if we need. Uh, someone to fall on the sword, uh, I'd be happy to do it tomorrow. Six to tie, seven to execute Noel. Except the assassin hasn't used their ability, right? By the way. Oh, wow. Oh, why? What What did mm. I do? <laughs> Lie to seven me. is enough. Noel on the block. 10 seconds for any other nominations. People need to learn not to lie to me. 
<laughs> Evie found that last week. I don't think that's a good reason to kill me. <laughs> but I don't have a better nomination, and it would have been really helpful for me to have a... Unless somebody's willing to be nominated by me and tie it again. But we've run through most of the circle. I've sort of forgotten who's been nominated at this point. No, is executed and dies. Everyone goes to sleep. There is a good wolf. Okay. I think we've uh, built up some pretty good trust there. You should lie about the player you pick or number you get tonight. Yeah, could do. I mean, I'm really intrigued to see what I get from Aggie. I might just partner up with Pat. Does the win condition of the cult leader work after it dies? Uh, nobody's ability works when they're dead, unless it specifies otherwise. And obviously, if the cult leader is dead, they can't call for a cult. So, yeah, no, basically. So, to catch everyone up to speed, there's a Stormcatcher in play, uh, which basically means that uh, one character is in play, the evil team knows who they are, uh, but that character can only be killed by execution, can't be killed by the demon. Uh, we are the Amnesiac, and we have been Stormcaught. And last night we chose Chris and got a 2. And we asked Ed, does our ability pertain to something about the number of players in between myself and Chris? And we got a cold. So our working theories at the moment are, uh, is it the number of letters in the character's name? Uh, or is it the number of players that have chosen them with their ability or interacted with them in some way during the night? Uh, so we've got Pat to pick Aggie tonight, and we're going to pick a 2, and we'll see what number we get. <clears throat> Anyone check the monster manual for the reveal roll? <laughs> Well, we've not seen any Al Hadikia stuff in chat yet. <clears throat> Still no Al Hadikia. I think we can reasonably assume it's not an Al Hadikia. I don't think it can be syllables. Oh, in the character name, yeah, that's doable. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why, but for a moment there, I was like, Chris only has one syllable in his name. You idiot! <laughs> and I was like, Oh wait, no, it is I who is the idiot. Hmm. So I wonder if we believe that Adam's the gossip. Just claiming cult leader to try and... It was me, I was the turkey all along. <laughs> pick self. Well, I guess we could pick ourselves, but I've agreed with Pat that we're going to pick Aggie, so we'll pick Aggie. <clears throat> pick a player, you know how many of their neighbours are evil. Entirely possible, or good. Um, that's an angle that we will explore. Thing is, as long as we're recording our information, once we finally get that bingo, and we will get that bingo, uh, it will all come tumbling down like a house of cards. Checkmate. An Invader Zim quote. <laughs> I, did, I didn't even know that was an Invader Zim quote. I don't, I don't really see much Invader Zim. I sort of vaguely remember it from my childhood. That was uh, that was all about those Thundercats. Thunder! Thundercats! But I love that TV show, man. It was so good. And then with Schnarf, he's like, well, you know, Schnarf, Schnarf. Oh, oh, God, I love that program so much. And my dad looks weirdly like Panthro, I always thought. He's got like he's got like the same bald head and like head shape and everything. Oh, I always found I was thought that was quite weird that there's this panther man that looks kind of like my dad. That what that was a Futurama quote, yeah. <laughs> what was the night one Duchess info? We don't know yet. 
because uh, you, you don't get any until you visit the storyteller on day one, so we should get that tonight. But just me, or is Chitara amazingly sexy? I don't know, I was a bit too young at the time. <laughs> I haven't gone back to check, because I, I don't want to know. <laughs> Hello. Would you like to choose a player, please? Aggie, please. You're going with Aggie. Yeah. Uh, you get a two. Oh! Theory's looking good. Theory's looking sound. I yeah. am interested to see what it is tomorrow <clears throat> day. See you in a bit. See ya. Alright, so it's... Uh, current, the theory's gotta be... Choose a, well, no, choose a player, you get told the number two. Could be. Um, choose a pl Each night selects a player, you learn how many other players selected them with their ability. Because last night... Or last night, Chris chose Pat chose Chris, and I chose Chris. Tonight, Pat agreed to choose Aggie, and I chose Aggie. So, I'm I'm. That's got to be the theory, right? <clears throat> It'll be something to do with Evie. Oh, she's two away from both of them. Yes, she is. I don't know though, I'll be honest with you, I feel like Ed wouldn't give me an ability that's like, pick someone, you learn how close the demon is what to them, because that just kind of feels a bit pedestrian. I feel like he'd pick something a bit more exotic. <laughs> Choose a player, learn what they did on their last visit to the lavatory. I love that you called it a lavatory. Gotta pick yourself tomorrow. Yeah, I could do, right? Thing is, if we're right about this theory, then that means Pat is semi ironclad. But also, I feel like if we're right with this theory, if we get it right, we shouldn't tell anyone what our ability is. Yeah, we need claims from Chris and Eggy, definitely. Pat would have picked after you, depending on the theory. Ah, good. Oh, that's a really good point. Um, well, actually, um, we don't know when we go in the night order. Um, but yeah, you're right. Pat is pretty late. He's probably after us. It probably isn't that, is it? I wonder if our ability is about finding the damsel or something like that. Sorry, I'm just very deep in thought here. <laughs> Keep forgetting that there's 300 people watching me. Just sat here, sat here stroking my chin. What do we think? Oh. Good, Good morning. morning. Um, I'm just in four collaborators event tonight through Emma's Echo. Uh, and tell you that no one died. No one died. No one died. Ooh. Minstrel game? Sailor? Emma, can you put some headphones on, please? Is Minstrel on this? There's no Minstrel. Script. Oh. Um, Chris, we don't have here. Chris, I really need to talk to you. I needed to talk to you Chris, yesterday. Chris, can we follow up as well? Sure. Hey. Um, who wants to go first? Me. Oh, who is that? All right. Is? <clears throat> Hello. Ooh, how's the game? Yeah, not bad, not bad. I would really like to know what you are because I have information. Well, I have. Anyway, I have information about you, but I don't know what it means. Um, I'm the cannibal. Ooh, okay, interesting. <clears throat> okay. Um, I selected you on night one and got a two. Ooh. Okay. Obviously. How did how did that lead to might survive execution? <clears throat> so, um, someone told me that they selected you with their ability. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> and I thought, and, and then the my working theory became: Do I learn how many? 
characters have selected oh. this person with the ability. I looked at the script and there were a limited number of them, so if that were the case, it meant there was like a 50% chance that the... Right. Uh, but it was, like I said, it was really tenuous. Okay, yeah, that's something. Did you get... Did you pick someone different tonight? Yeah, I picked Aggie and got a two again. Um, now, me and this person both agreed to select Aggie last night uh, okay but here's the thing it's occurred to me that i probably act earlier in the night order than certain characters and so my work in theory of you learn how many people just chose them with their ability is probably not very yeah it's not going to be that but what i've noticed is that you're both sitting two away from evie uh that's true so it could be seats from something take the row yeah hmm I guess picking one of Evie's neighbours to see if you get one could be good. Yeah, that sounds like a sensible idea. I'll probably do that. All right, cool. All um, right. I learned a zero last night as cannibal. Okay. Um, which I think makes Noel the mathematician. Yeah, that sounds about right. I don't think what else is on here. That's probably why I didn't um, want to die. Yeah, yeah, poor guy. Um, yeah, I don't think something else that will get numbers other than an easy act plus you. Yep. Chamber may would need to pick first. Cool. Right. Okay. Cheers, Chris. I'll stick around and oh Ed's gone. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thanks for chat. Cheers. Go um, each other. Aggie, can I have a chat? <laughs> uh, Adam was first actually. Aggie, I'll be at the Aggie, tavern. Ben. Aggie, Ben, Chris, go for it. Let's go. Cheers. Um Adam told me to come. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um I interacted with you last night. I didn't feel anything, Ben. Don't know what that says about you. Yeah, um, <laughs> I did it from a distance, like a voyeur, <laughs> uh, peered through your window. But um, I'm wondering if you would mind. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's right. I'm out of prison. So, um, would you would you <laughs> would you mind telling me what you are? Uh, I'm the savant. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> does, that, does that do anything for you? No, not really. Hmm. Okay, but I appreciate. I've met you. a gambler who wants to gamble that, so uh, we'll see what happens there. I've heard uh, well, someone's claimed to be a gossip who got who intended to gossip last night, something about me. So um, yeah, that's probably good news. Anyway, right, I need to speak to Ed. Uh, yeah, after you speak to him, can you send him to me as well? Sure. Thank you. Cheers. I'll stay around. Okay. Uh, what I'll is Adam? Go. You. Okay, what do we think, chat? What do we... Oh, hello, Ed. Hello. God, okay. <clears throat> so, I think my two, the two theories that we're working with now are either uh, do we learn their distance from something, or do we learn something to do with the syllables in the character's name? Which one do we think we should go with? Uh, uh... <clears throat> I don't think you would do a you learn how far they are from a baddie type thing. That just feels a little too pedestrian. Sorry if I've offended you. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm going to go with, do I learn something about uh, syllables or the way uh, a name or a word or a character is written in some way? Warm. Yes, warm! Urgh! Hot, I would say. Hot in every way. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> So I just the great thing about this is that I get to as soon as I hear you react to something I get to go across to the stream and watch you react afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Enjoy. Cheers. Okay, Cheers. so um if uh if it is syllables in the name then Aggie the savant two syllables but Chris Cannibal is three syllables. So that means he lied to us. Both have A's, that's true. Yeah. Both have two A's in their name. You were in the night chat. That's fine. I can just tell you. <laughs> Did you? So I just not yeah. paying attention. Yeah, I'm a math one on night one. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I just got a warm. I love mathematician. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, we can have that chat nice. if you want, Noel. Uh yeah, let's do. Backstab Ali. Oh, never mind. Hello. Hello, Ben. Chat. Uh, I figured since I was dead, <laughs> I might as well. May, if you're comfortable sharing your amnesiac stuff with me, I can at least be. I'm a mathematician. I've got a one on night one. 
which leaves a couple of worlds in my head. You know, I'm thinking Puka or Leech are the most likely right now. So I'm really glad you've said that because I've spoken to a cannibal who got a number last night. Oh, excellent! That's very good to know. Yeah. Uh, I'll let them talk to me, I guess. Uh, if they want to, I don't know if they want to share that or not. The, yeah. They'll have to so I mean, to at me. the end of the day, either you're both on the evil team or you're legit. So I guess I'll just go with you're legit. Um, okay. I uh, picked Chris and got a two. I picked Aggie and got a two. Um, on day one, I was cold, so don't worry about that. But on day two, I asked if my ability has something to do with the way the syllables or letters or words are arranged in a in a character's ability uh, in a character's name uh, that they occupy, and I got a warm. So Ooh. I I have claims from both of them. And so I have a bunch of working theories um, about what that might be, but uh... yeah, okay, um, yeah. Oh, because is did somebody suggest that Chris was the sailor? <clears throat> um, I don't know. I, I I suggested that I thought he might not die, but at the time the working theory oh, okay. I had was that choose a player, you learn how many or how many players chose them with their ability last night or tonight. And so I thought it was possible that a devil's advocate might have picked him. I gotcha. Yeah, because my sort of conspiracy theory now is like, Sailor has two more vowels than Chris's name does, but that's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to keep getting information and try and suss it out, I guess. Well, here's the thing, right? If it's syllables in the name, Chris has lied to me. If it's something else, then he might be telling me the truth. Okay. Cool. cool. Yeah, I'd like to keep him around for now, just because I've got info about him, and I like the people I have info about staying alive. Sure. Yeah, especially if you're able to somehow get some kind of confirmation from your ability or something like that. That makes sense to me. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty, cheers. All right. Thanks, Noel. <laughs> Why put sus on Chris? I put sus on everybody. Shame. <laughs> um... All right. Conversations are open, people. As in same, the evening, the evening variety. Same one, Nadine. Same one. Same one's back. Okay. Richie, Pat, and Chris. Do you all? What numbers did you come up with? We didn't come up with any numbers. We were giving them, Kat. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> which numbers are you sharing with us? We all write it down at the same time, or something. We should have done this methodically. Uh, we should have told someone in whispers, I guess. I did yeah. not know whispers. I kind of forgot I had that conversation with that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're all taking this so seriously. How, how, how about we type it in chat and literally on one, two, three, we just type out the number so there's no, no messing yeah. up. Yeah. Works yeah, for me. Works so well. All right. All right. Someone counts down. This is amazing content for stream. Uh, I'll do three, the honest. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> 17! Oh! Ooh. Okay. Oh. Well, that to me suggests they're probably all legit, right? Because one of them got yeah. the info. Well, either they all got wrong info, one of evil. Or... or one of Chris and Pat is evil. You think it might be Pat because yeah. his name's Red? <laughs> <laughs> I think. I, it, I, does it mean Richie has to be good? Unless I thought about this, I was going to lie uh, if I spoke to anyone and tell them I got a zero because I think that would inform me better. Is it all be yeah? Why if they were evil, if I was evil, would I give a zero? It would be my question. What? So sure this, I look good. This, 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 this is a position that I will give a zero here. No, I'd, I'd rather make you two look evil. Yeah, Pat would give a three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a warm today. Woohoo! Woo oh, nice. Uh, ben, by the way, I believe you. Thank you. So, so do I. Based on what, um, I I don't know about anybody else, but I have no idea what Ben. Is doing or could be doing, or hey, I got he's, it. he's he's counting down to his boom dandy kill. But yeah, <laughs> Do we need I'd to like treat to Ben like a it. role that we need to sorry, keep cat, alive. Sorry, cat, sorry, cat, sorry, cat. I'd like to gossip that the demon is a puka. Mm -hmm. I'd like to gossip that the puka target was executed, and that's why we didn't have any deaths. I will copy cat's gossip. I will gotcha. copy that gossip from Aggie. Got you. I'd okay, like to gossip you. that the puka selected Ben. I will, I will gossip uh, that the Puka targeted the person who got killed by execution last night. Just by the way, Ben's seat as well. Yeah, yesterday. And Emma. 
you know what? I think it's because I'm connected to two games. I've got the I've got the next Grimoire up and ready for the next game. <laughs> nice. Uh, any other gossips? Any cults? Otherwise, nominations. Will uh, be can we talk about Duchess? Um, <laughs> yeah. Who's going? Has anyone tried? Has anyone been yet today? Nope. No. Do we want to uh, send some of the same people with a new person, or do we want to send three brand new people? I don't really know what the best three new people. matter is. Uh, I'll go. Can I go? I'll... Well then, post in chat. Nominations so, are open. Richie, Aggie, and Nikki then. Richie's not a new person. Well, oh, no. oh, Richie's oh, already no. going anyway. Adam, Adam will go oh. in that. Oh, okay, fair enough. Go, Adam. Uh, Nikki would like to form a cult. Nikki, tell us about your cult. Uh, this is the cult of inclusion. Uh, even Adam is welcome to this cult um, because I care about everyone. Um, and this is also the cult of um, ending Ed's thousandth game on day two because a day two win is just slightly better than a day one win. And so, therefore, everyone should want to go for this for a day two win. Um, if people aren't going to go for this, uh, then I'd like to get some information from this. Uh, and can we minimize the number of players whose hands are not raised um, to maybe just one or two at the very most? Um, yeah. Okie dokie. Um, so, Emma and Aggie, could you raise your hands? Maybe... Oh. <laughs> Raise, uh, what, why nope. are people lowering their hands? We're not going to get anything out of this if people just lower their hands and. Oh, it's not formed. Too inclusive, Nikki. Nikki, if there was a time to do the cult win, it was yesterday. At this point, nah. nah well, nah, then nah. we'll get information from it. There's no point in me just being a, a role that's doing nothing. Oh, I think Nikki's found his place at last. <laughs> oh, ouch! ouch. I'm sorry, <laughs> Richie. Richie wow. nominates cat. I just Richie sorry. nominates cat. Uh, Richie, I would tell like us to, why. I'd like to pass the accusation over to Nikki and his hurt feelings. <laughs> Nikki um, and his hurt feelings. So, which is the, the the most terrible band name, incidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's the thing, guys. Yeah, I come to this server, play games to entertain people. <laughs> And, you know, I do everything for the sake of chat and making people happy. <laughs> and then, and then my, my feelings just get hurt so much. Oh, I don't need your dead vote. <laughs> You're such a full-blown <laughs> diva. Uh, six votes required. Doesn't uh, only jerk you. Yeah. No? Uh, Cat does get a defense. Can That's true. Get a defense? My defense is I was out of line. Apologise, and I love you, really, Nikki. <laughs> uh, Edge, Edge, okay. so Nikki increasing. <clears throat> uh, six votes quiet. Kat, are you still claiming what you told me you were on day one? Mm -hmm. You, you still well, never mind. I'm going to vote anyway. No, well, Kat's not going to vote both herself off. Oh, it's now still yeah. I mean, it's not enough anyway. Yeah, Kat yeah. Is safe for today. I was. Any other nominations? Kat, are you I, still I, I claiming to be the same thing that you claimed on day one? Adam's going to nominate Emma. Adam nominates Emma. Tell us why. No information on Emma. I like everyone else's claim so far. Let's do it. Okay, Emma, your defense. I uh, not a good kill for today. Tomorrow, possibly. Today, not so much. Who was I it that said that yesterday? The person Six got executed. Oh, no, we killed them anyway. So well for them <laughs> yesterday. I, I actually agree with Emma's. I think I think we should give yeah. Emma one more night and then kill her so the cannibal can find stuff. Oh, out. okay. So now we're doing that for people. I see how it is. <laughs> hey, one night it only. <laughs> one night only. Uh, Emma Nick, is safe for tonight. Nikki's going to nominate Adam. Nikki nominates Adam. Tell us why. Uh, as far as I know of, we're still in a hard double claim, and I can't let that be. Uh, I am the true cult leader. He hasn't even tried to form a cult today. Just saying. Adam, your defense. 
Uh, I like to let the, the day go forward a bit before I do the cult lead. Like, let's see what how the town's feeling. Um, don't need to rush in and be the center of attention on the first thing I do every day, Nikki. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> Why is everyone insulting me? I do, I do like to be center of attention. Let's, let's, let's not creep around that. Six required. <laughs> It's not my fault I have a big ego, okay? Adam, are you hey. still claiming to be what you told me you were on day one? Um, I don't think I lied to you, Ben, but I'm having to chat to you tomorrow and confirm. Good to know. Okay, three is not enough. Adam is safe for today. Final call for nominations. Can we execute people? Evie nominates uh, Richie. Evie nominates Richie. Tell us why. Um... Richie hasn't been nominated yet. Don't know anything about him. He thinks I'm evil for whatever reason. So um, I want to hear what he has to say. And uh, he's probably evil as well. Okay, Richie? I'm not evil as well. I think that's Evie's uh, projection. Uh, I think she's evil just based on Nikki being the cult leader. And Nikki's is bound to be surrounded by evil somewhere near. Uh, I'm not a good kill. That's about it. No Six one's required. Good. There's not a lot of good kills on the script, unfortunately. I know. We're all pretty... To, no to be honest with you, I don't, think, I don't think we necessarily need to execute right now. I I know... Well, I'm pretty confident that the cannibal has a fairly useful ability. Um, and beyond that, there's no Undertaker and stuff, right? So I say we just give it a miss for tonight. We can afford to do that now. We can't afford to do it later, right? Well, we Richie, are at, well, we are at odds is, now. Execute, Richie is safe for today. Final call for nominations. Ten seconds. We are at odds okay. now because there was no deaths in the night, so we probably do want to execute. Nikki. Cat nominates oh, no, we... Nikki. Tell us why. Um, I, why did I fall for his pity play? I don't know. Why did fall for my pity play? Okay, Nikki, your defence. Uh, my worry is if there is a cannibal uh, and they eat the cult leader and turn evil. Uh, and then eat something else afterwards, they're never going to be able to turn good again. And on top of that, they're going to be gaining other abilities. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, six required. As much as I do think Nikki needs to die, I'll kill a cult leader all day, every day. <laughs> Blight of society. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki is safe for today. Final call, 10 seconds. I'll nominate Chris. Uh, Pat nominates Chris. Tell us why. Still have this gut feel he's evil. He was saved lastminute.com yesterday. Really? He, he claimed a very powerful role. He's still alive. All of that aligns to me as mm, questionable, questionable, questionable. Okay, questionable, questionable, questionable. Chris, what is your defense? I may be questionable, but I am good. I think there's some good info that confirms me, actually. Um, I don't know what it is, but I believe people that know this info know why it's good. Okie dokie. Uh, six required. If you say Evie's your grandmother, I'll never believe it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not your <laughs> grandmother. No. I think that this is a pretty bad kill, in my opinion. All right. I'm still insulted that you guys ignored me. Uh, we can chat tomorrow, sorry. I, I, I would uh, like Ed, to ask yes, Adam. Adam would like to form a cult. Mm -hmm. Adam would like to form a cult. Tell us about your cult. I'd still like everyone apart from Nikki to to vote for this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds by blathering we'll a it. little bit about Adam's cult and then going. Do it, guys. Do it. Nadine. I see on. how this is. Nadine. Hey. Nadine doesn't like cults. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Yeah, Nadine, Nadine doesn't, doesn't like cults. Cult is not I'm formed. not knowing anything about you, Adam. It's Can final someone call. Aggie, please? Five seconds. I don't think we want to kill Nadine today. Nominate... So... Oh. Yeah, I just Somebody want to give an accusation. I nominate Aggie. Then. Nadine nominates Aggie. Tell us why. Defer to Richie. So Kat Rich. was on the block, and Kat's been pretty gung ho with her nominations, uh, with people that I think seems like we could get enough votes on but we haven't which i'm happy with because it doesn't seem like a bad idea but then she left her hand up when it, it was clearly on five 
and it was on fire for a while and she left her hand up either she's either willing to die or more like she just trusts Aggie and she can see that Aggie's not going to put her hand up because Aggie's on the same team as her in which case they are both evil therefore Aggie's evil therefore she could be a good kill but I'm not suggesting we vote on this I just thought I'd highlight that observation I think that Aggie is evil because she's uh, Aggie's evil. defense Aggie's defense Aggie? Aggie wasn't looking at his screen and I also wanted to feed the cannibal so I voted for a couple of things and I just okay. left my hand up because I wasn't looking at my screen, you can believe me or not. Okay, six required. Have you hey, guys finished packing? <laughs> how many nominations have we had over these two days? Too many. Uh, if only there was a If only there was some way that we could tell. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> including the cults. 18. Um, wow. Nice. wow. Final call, five seconds. We're just trying to make sure Ed's 1,000th game goes two hours. Richie mm -hmm. would like to form. <laughs> Never ends. Richie would like to form a cult. Oh, stop! Oh my God, <laughs> Richie! I need, to pack, I need to pack for strange games tonight. Richie, tell I've... me about your cult. Um, no, I don't need to. Everyone would just join it right now, and everyone should vote for it because it'd be funny if the time that I'm not a cult leader, but I am, so vote for it. Everyone votes for it, and it'd be sad. Cool. <laughs> that was incoherent as fuck. <laughs> Drunk cult leader confirmed. Have you ever? Heard of you? I've had two Claritin today, guys. Give me, give me, a, give me a bit of a break. Final call. Five oh, seconds. God, sorry, Ben. I've only just seen all the pings. That's all right. You can answer me now. Uh, yeah. The answer is yeah. Okay, cool. No one is executed. Everyone goes to sleep. Jesus Christ! How long is this game gonna go? Um... BMR. BMR. <laughs> All right. I think it's probably the A thing, so I'm gonna choose cat tonight. So cat has claimed to be the general. Got a two on Aggie and there's two A's in Savant. I've got a two on Chris and there's two A's in Cannibal. Um, so if I pick Cat and get a one, could be you learn how many A's are in that character's name. I think myself or Noel is a better choice. I'd rather not pick myself simply because I'd rather have... I don't know how much longer I'm going to live for and I'd rather have information about other people. And honestly, I don't want to get another two again. I feel like my info is going to be a bit unbelievable if I just keep getting twos. So let, let's pick Cat and see what we can learn about her. Because here's the thing. If it's not A's, then it's probably syllables. And that means Chris is lying. That's right, Adam's got no A, but I don't I don't believe Adam will have told me the truth. And I don't want to waste time on him. I don't think he will tell me the truth. Three A's in Mathematician, that's true, but let's not pick dead players. Let's try and get information about... Like, as far as I'm concerned, this game's not ending anytime soon, right? We've got all the time in the world here. Let's Let's get information about players who are alive. Like, we, we have the luxury of being able to take our time. <clears throat> Thing is, I don't... So, first of all, there isn't only one A in Cult Leader. I, I really <laughs> I really hope that was a joke. Um, but... Uh, oh, no, there is! Oh, my God, it's me! I am the one who is the dumbass! <laughs> no! I mean, I was just te testing you. You, you passed. Um... <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, um, I don't, I don't believe Nikki. I, I find it hard to believe it. Do you know what? I literally work as a freelance journalist. Like you can go on a bunch of websites and read my articles right now, and apparently I don't know how the word leader is spelt. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I want to pick people who have told me what they are and then once again confirm that they're definitely claiming that thing. In my opinion, that's the best way to the roots of the information. 
How many A's do you put when you write about cult leaders? I just put like seven A's and then cult leader in brackets. You know, like it, like I've pronounced it in my native tongue or something. You don't need to be able to spell to be a journalist these days. Computers fix that. That's very true, actually. Although what you do, what you do need to know is you need to know the difference between American and English spelling dependent on which website or magazine you're writing for. So there's that. I've had to elaborate how he pronounces general. I mean, if he pronounced it the same way as me, it'd be spelled G-E-N-A-R-U-L. General in the north. I, th I think I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to go for Pat. I mean, go for Cat. God, I'm really just not on it today. All am I? I got, I got up really early this morning because I need to get up even earlier tomorrow morning. And uh, it's now 20 past 9 and I think my brain's melting a little bit. Which is worrying because I have to run a brand new character <laughs> in about 45 minutes. Are you a mass com major? I don't know what that is, I'll be honest. Wow, this is a really long night. Mass communications. Ah. Oh. I, I am not a mass communications major. Well, I did think about joining the army and going into comms for a bit, because I did um, games audio design at university. And I thought I wouldn't mind hang like messing around with audio equipment in the army for a living. Uh, but then I realised I wouldn't last five minutes in the army. <laughs> First of all, they'd make me cut my dreads off. Secondly, I'd have to do basic training. So I was like, nah. Where is Ed? What's going on here? Hey, Ben. Hello. Please choose a player. I would like to choose Cat, please. You choose cat. Yep. Uh, you get a one. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Welcome. All right. I think we've got it, guys. I think we've got it. But I am uh, I'm going to use this quick opportunity for a bathroom break because I've drank a pint of tea. Ben, talk to Ed. The number is wrong. Nice try. Nice try. If you guys keep doing this, I'm going to install a urinal in my bedroom. Okay. Uh, no need to hear that part of the sentence. Jack, you're trying to convince me that things have happened while I've been away that haven't happened. They do it every time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, town. Patrick and Richie died in the night. Ooh. Shabalab. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, right. Shobalob. Nice. Um, hey, Richie, no. do you want to have a chat? Ed, let's ben, talk. Do you want to chat? 
Oh, yeah, do we want to talk about the Duchess first? <laughs> I want yeah, to talk to so, Who are the Duchess people? Uh, me. Adam and... Oh, it was you. I'm just going to leave the room. Yo, yo. Ed, is my ability... So each night selects a player, you learn how many A's are in their character's name. That's a bingo! Yes! Oh, yes! Either that or we have been chosen by the leech! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Brilliant. All right, thank you. Okay, that was so worth watching on camera. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, enjoy that. All right, thank you. Okay. 12 divided by 5. It's not even an integer. Cats, Chris. Oh, in brackets, this is unclear. Cat and Chris, can I talk to you too? Wait. 12 plus 3. And then here are you asked to. Cat and Chris, can I talk to I'm you sure. too? Same time. Yep, please. Okay, hello guys, I just got a bingo. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, no, ben, ben, oh. ben, ben, Ben. Yeah, I was testing you, see you later. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> hello guys. Hey, ben. I just, I just got a bingo. Oh, oh sweet! Well awesome. What is it? Um, are you two happy for your re roles to be re semi-revealed to one another? Um, yes. yeah, yeah, go on them. My ability, uh, unless I've been leech poisoned, my ability is select a player. You know, you learn how many A's are in their character's name. Ooh, nice. Uh, okay, that's incredibly specific. I know, <laughs> but how the hell did you get that? So, <clears throat> so basically, um. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you my thought process. So initially, I picked Chris and got a two. Mm -hmm. So my immediate thought was, oh, it's probably something about the number, the characters between me and that player. Maybe you learn how many are good or how many are townsfolk or something like that. But I was cold. So next, I picked Aggie and got a two as well. Uh, and then mm -hmm. I was thinking, oh, well, maybe, uh, maybe I'm pinging Evie in some way. Maybe it's two characters away. Uh, but then. Um, it occurred to me, well, chat pointed out to me, that the claim that we had from Aggie and the claim that we had from Chris were uh, were both both had two A's in the name. I'm truncating how this went down a bit because there's a lot of discussion. Uh, and so I asked Ed yesterday if my ability has something to do with uh, the way names are spelt or syllables or something like that. Because um, I, I thought perhaps Chris had... Chat. Yeah. My hat goes off to you. That's well, there amazing. is th there is three hundred of them, so it's a little unfair, really. <laughs> but I thought it might be something to do with syllables. Maybe Chris was lying. Um, but yeah, no, it's not. Really good. It's it's A's. Um, I got a one on you, cat. I got a two on Aggie and a two sense. on Chris. So I yeah. I'm inclined. So let's just have a quick look at the evil team here. We've got a Godfather that has one. We've got a Devil's Advocate mm -hmm. that has one. We've got a Pit Hag that has one. We've got an Assassin that has, has two. two? Devil's Adver... Yeah, sorry, Adler it does. Yeah. I'm so two. bad at reading. To be fair, my eyesight is garbage. So, um, yeah. Devil's Advocate and Shabalov are two. Al Hadikia is three. <laughs> Leech is zero. So, it's possible that one of you two could be lying to me. Uh, and True. could be like a minion or something, but I think it's relatively We'd have to be unlikely. We've incredibly lucky yeah. Yeah. to have done that. Cool. Um, so, um, so I'm, for Cat's benefit, I'm the cannibal. Um, <clears throat> I've had uh, zeros both nights since gaining... The mathematician cool. ability. Okay. Um, I um, could do with getting Aggie involved in this circle of trust because I kind of believe her too. Oh. Yeah, she did. She said she was storyteller aligned. Um, so I'm guessing she's a savant. Yeah, that's what she claimed to me. <clears throat> that is good. Uh, Brilliant. Okay, who wants to talk to me? Adam. Okay. All right, I'll tell you what, um, I'll go talk to Adam. You guys can fill Aggie awesome. in if you get a chance. All right. Yeah, we'll do. Okay. Sounds good. Um... Adam, let's go. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, Hello. Just, so I think I told you, Dad, well, okay, let me step It doesn't matter what I told you. I'm the gossip. I might be the reason we had two kills last night. Oh, okay. What did you gossip? That there's a poker in play. Me. Okay. You wanted me to join. Yeah, sorry, I wanted you to join the previous conversation. Um, you can go oh, talk to Chris and Kat if you want, and they'll fill you in. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. I just wanted to put that information out there, Ben, while you guys are trying to figure right. out the worldview, so carry on. Fantastic, thank you. So, actually, this is quite interesting. There aren't any evil players apart from the Leech that have zero A's in their name. So we should check Adam, right? Because he has zero. 
Yeah, that's got to be our next move, right? We won't tell anyone what my ability is. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm not Adam's grandmother, sorry. Oh, Hello. this just looks so evil. Have, have these guys filled you in, Aggie? Not really. Not yet. Um, ben has got a bingo. Yeah, I've got a bingo. Um, and it hard confirms that um, you are either the Savant or the Devil's Advocate or the Assassin or the Shabaloth. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Aggie, I learned how many A's are in a character's name, and I got a two for you. So I'm inclined to believe you for now. I'd appreciate it if none of you spread this information outside of this no, group. No, no, uh, no. I think that's really powerful for confirming. So people. you've picked, you've had three nights, haven't you? And you picked us three. Is that? That's yeah. right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm going to pick tonight. I'm not going to tell you in case one of you is evil. Sure. Um, but well, I, I've, I've got a pretty sensible choice for tonight. Yeah, that day you told me that um, you chose me with your ability, that was one of my bits of info, that at least one person chose me with their ability, that's why I told you I believed you later okay. that day. That's useful, oh, that's brilliant. good to know. Yeah. What's the uh, rest of your info, Aggie? The rest of my info is that, well, actually one of the bits repeats itself. Uh, so the first day, at least one outsider was neighboring an evil player, or there's an assassin in play. Mm -hmm. Then either a player has changed characters, which would suggest bit hag, or at least one player selected me with their ability, so that will be Ben. And mm -hmm. today I got there's an assassin in play, or nobody has changed alignment. Nobody so changed I okay. don't know if Ed is trying Wait, to suggest. Nobody has changed alignment ever, or yeah, in the game, yeah. In the game. But I think Ed might be trying to suggest that there wasn't an assassin on day one, but mm. there is an assassin now. Ooh. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay. That's excellent. I'd okay. quite like to get a claim off Evie so that I can verify her, because if Nika really is the cult leader, we can then learn whether or not that no one changed alignment thing might be true. Mm. Okay, so what is Adam's deal if Nikki is the cult leader? Uh, Adam's Adam hard claimed a different role to me on day one and confirmed it again He today. hard claimed a different role to me as well. Oh. Okay. I think he's just screwing with Nikki a bit. The code <laughs> Possible, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna head okay. back and talk right. to the people. Yeah. See ya. All right. See you back. Do what Evie says. Oh, she's not replying. Oh, she's replying. Hey, oh. how's it going? Hi Ben. Hi chat. Hey Ben. Hello, hey chat. Hello. Um, you two are two of the only people in the circle I don't have a claim for. Uh, I wonder if you'd mind claiming to me now that I've got my bingo. Um, can potentially confirm you. Nadine, do you want to go first? Um, so wait, you got Evan's hard claims, Ben? A lot of hard claims, yeah. But to be honest, I'd rather have Evie. Evie's oh, more important uh, to me. Can I leave you to it then? Yeah, go for um, it. Yeah, that's that's all right. Okay, let's, let's we can we can talk after Ben if you want. I think. It's, yep. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Um, at this point. I may as well just out. I've been claiming lots of different things to different people, but I'm um, actually the politician, and I think I'm going to throw my lot in with town. <coughs> okay, that's good to know. Thank you. What um, What was your bingo? I'm not telling you, because you've just told me you're the politician, uh, which I'm sure you can understand. That's fine. I, um, yeah, I mean, that's why I was being a little bit um, sort of cagey, because I was trying to see size people out and get some social reads, but I'm... I think I have a good feeling about your power, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, I, I'm it. building up a circle of trust <laughs> with it. Uh, but yeah, thanks. And we're all back. Good evening, everyone. Uh, short chats and then nominations, because there's still fucking nine of you. <laughs> it's only half nine. Right. No responsibility right. for this. Fine. This is on you lot. Ed, may I visit the damsel? Soft play minion. Uh, can I have? <laughs> wait, Cat, stop, stop. Do you mind if you Adam goes with Nadine and Emma, please? Um, well, Cat's already claimed that. Yeah. I mean, I asked publicly to Ed, and nobody said anything. So. Yeah, I was two seconds too late. Apologies. Um, tomorrow, sorry, then. Richie, can we get it clear as to what your number was? Because I couldn't be able to do maths. Look, I dropped out of maths in university. I'm not doing any further. Uh, so it was a one. Um, it was one. three okay. plus six, nine times so, two, eighteen. Divide by five minus one, two. Uh, Richie, Richie. So just to just to elaborate your concern about earlier on, what happens if your real number should have been a two? That would have mean that both me and Nikki 
knew that you wouldn't have got a zero, if that makes sense. Because if it was really two, you could have got a one or a zero if you were going to get the false info. It was it, it's Adam, a... Richie, and Nikki all claimed one? No, zeros. That, okay, my, zero. that, that my day one information was public and that I went again, me getting two ones makes sense. Um, and it requires a bit of a gamble on your part, but to be fair, it's much of a match either its way. And it, basically, the issue is I could be getting drunk information because I'm feeling pretty good here as a dead player. Or both Nikki and Adam, who are apparently in the counts claim, but are okay with it for reasons that we're not aware of. Um, if they're both evil, then they've both been given a two by the Duchess of correct information and have both lied about it, which is why I would love for Adam to go with two players I trust. I'm, I'm happy to go again today if you, for a reason, you can... I mean, I don't know anything about um, Cat. So Nominations ask. are open. One of those two have, has been hard claiming a different role since day one. So I think a it's probably just a trying to confuse evil thing. One of which two? You and Adam. That's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> Could do well, even I, take I've his never evil ever it, tried to com confuse evil. Is there a pixie in the script? Maybe. Nope. Okay. Um, I have had a hard claim of a huntsman, which means if they're telling the truth, there's a damsel in play. I've also had a hard claim from a second outsider, so I'm now I'm now kind of aware of two outsiders. Oh, what second outsider have you heard from? Uh, a politician. Yeah, it's a politician. I'm not going to out who they are, but it's okay. a politician. Yeah. I think it's worth noting to the politician uh, that there is potential for there to be a goon uh, and there is me as the cult leader, um, both of which have potential of turning evil. So politician, you're better off to play for good because there's very little chance you're going to win as evil, even if you are the most responsible. Second call, for, second call for nomination. Second Ed, call. Does the spirit of ivory apply to politicians post-game? Yep. Yep. Whoa, that's oh, rough. Sucks to be oh, a politician. Yep. So any politician better play for good, right? <laughs> mm. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I nominate Evie. Ben nominates Evie, tell us why. She told me that she's the politician, so she's either the politician <laughs> or she's lying. Okay, Evie, your defence? I mean, given the way that discussion has just passed by, I have to play for town. So there's no point executing me because I know I'm good. Um, by executing me, you're, uh, deni you're, you're denying an execution on an evil player. So at this point, um, I, my, um, I have been placed in the right place and I'm playing for town. So keep me alive, please. Five required. Don't ghost vote this. <laughs> I have been placed in the right I, I have, I have been placed in the right place, claims Evie. Wink, wink, yeah, to a I mean, at the start of the game, <laughs> I was definitely weighing up my options, but uh, Ed's made it crystal clear which side of the fence I'm on. <laughs> we go for Adam. one of Aggie or Cat today, please. Adam wants to uh, form a cult. Adam, tell us what oh, you call. I wanted to form a cult. Um, I wanted to be the first cult formed today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And yeah, me and Noel didn't vote on cults before, so. Nadine! Oh my god. I'll, I'll wait to the final day. It'll, it'll be more exciting this way. <laughs> you think well, it could be, be the final day now? A cult has not been formed. Uh, Nikki would like to form a cult. Nikki, like, that's why. How? Adam, you what? need you need to put more into it. You can't just be like, "Yeah, I'm going to form a cult." Okay, no. Right, guys. The reason why you should form my cult is because we've been playing this game for quite a while on that, and we've still got nine alive. Okay, Ed's one thousandth game needs to end at some point. Please, that and would be lovely. <laughs> even <laughs> yeah. if yeah. this forever. cult go through. Uh, guys, you need to form this cult. Not for me. Nikki, if you're not a cult Ed. leader, I'm uh -huh. going to be very upset. Cult. It's Ed, the I think we're getting cult less. Down. If we trust we're getting Chris less and Evie. If we trust Chris and Evie right now, this makes sense to vote. I would like okay. to uh, no, cult gossip. That uh, is a cult leader in play. I'd like okay. to gossip that the cult leader is evil. Okay. Ooh. I would like to gossip that a player has been turned evil. Okay.
Final call for nominations. I'd like to gossip that the town has a has top of the town bias. <laughs> I like to gossip that Evie is not the politician. I really feel like we should be executing at this point. Is the cannibal info still worth uh, getting? Who is the person who wanted to be executed Nikki. today? I don't think so. Cat, Cat nominates Nikki. Tell us why. Um, let's remove worldviews. I do not okay. trust him. Okay. Nikki, your defense. Uh, if there isn't a cannibal, sure, go for it. If there is a cannibal, don't do this. Okay. Especially I... as we now haven't... Uh, we've, we believe we've heard of enough outsiders that there c- might not be a goon. So therefore the cannibal could turn evil. Um, yeah. Final call. Uh, sorry, six votes required. Uh, five votes required. Fucking words. Any of these words. <laughs> <laughs> five votes required. Go. Do you not really speed up this game? Not having Nikki try and form a call every day? I think this is a great vote. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I don't think you need to speed it up. That yeah, I'm enjoying this, to be honest. Ooh. So, Hello, pretty cat. I didn't Hello. vote for that, Nikki. Such a hard Nikki lift. Nikki on the block. Final call hard for nomination is yes. 10 seconds. Uh, wasn't it Emma or Evie that volunteered to be executed today? No, I'm more than happy with this. Evie definitely didn't volunteer to be executed. <laughs> he fought quite uh, hard. Yeah, well, well, no, I meant yesterday. One of them yesterday I, said, I'm a better kill tomorrow. Right? I would like to point out, it was Emma, wasn't Nikki, it? Nikki is executed and dies. Everyone goes to sleep. Go, suck it, minions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's got to be Adam tonight, right? Yeah, I reckon I reckon Evie's probably the evil goon. I'm gonna put that one in chat. There we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna choose Evie. I'm gonna choose Adam. He's one of the few characters that doesn't have an A in his name. I don't think I'm gonna pick Evie at all. I don't really. I don't really see the point. At this point, I can just pick everyone else, right? We're dead tonight. We can't be dead tonight because there's a storm catcher in play. We've been storm caught. We're a thorn in the evil team's side, and. It seems that we don't have a pit hag because no one's been claiming to have been pit hagged. Oh, do you know what? This is all. It's going to turn out that we were chosen by the leech on night one. And we've just been, Ed's just been like, yeah, sure, why not? Bingo. <laughs> I just, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Kind of hope that's not true. Well, do you know what? Even if it is the case, still think that this has been an excellent game as the uh, as the amnesiac and is going to be well worth a YouTube upload. So you can all say hi YouTube right now because it's probably going up. Right, so Adam tonight, we get a claim from Nadine tomorrow. Start making our way around the circle. These nights are really long. 
suppose there is a lot of active characters, right, in this game. Well, the thing is, if um, <clears throat> we've got Chris the Cannibal, who hopefully didn't turn evil last night, uh, that's the general, there's me. The evil team, if they've got a, a devil's advocate that just hasn't done anything yet and an assassin that's yet to kill, then there's quite a lot going on there. Possible we could still have a professor that's not done anything, or a sailor. Will there be another game after this? Yes, there will. In fact, not just a game. We're gonna we're gonna showcase one of the experimental characters. Damn, these nights are long. Don't forget YouTube, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more four-hour games. <laughs> or, you know, like, share, and subscribe if you don't. This uh, this hasn't quite... <laughs> this hasn't been put on YouTube yet, but I suppose it's possible that you're watching this five years from now and have already seen it. Um, but the amazing damsel game that we had last week has been set to go live. Um, on Sunday slash Monday depending on where you live you should splice this game into last week's games advertise it as several short games <laughs> yeah just surprise them with this long S1 at the end what is going on here how many how many people does Ed need to visit Good morning, town. I have some interesting news. Aggie died in the night. Adam died in the night, and Cat died in the night, and the good team wins. What? Oh, what? What? Yeah. what? <laughs> All right. What the fuck? What? Oh, Nadine, bless you. Oh. So, um, <laughs> funny story. Oh, um, <laughs> if your evil team is absolutely fucking nailing it, you still need to coordinate with each other. Um, so, I'm going to run you through the story of this game from the start, and there's going to be a critical moment last brilliant. night where it all goes wrong. So, <laughs> uh, top of the town square, Noel, your mathematician. He gets a one night one, and then you kill him brutally, despite the fact that he asked to get one more night of information, which, to be fair to Noel, was going to be really interesting because it gives him really good indication whether it's Leech Pucker or whether it's one of the others, and it's actually a sailor doing the drunking. Nonetheless, that one is because Cat, your starting pucker, has picked Nadine, your starting goon. Cat gets made drunk. Nadine isn't going to die because she's the goon, was never poisoned. Um, that is Noel's one. Pat, your chambermaid, uh, picked Chris and someone. Ben, uh, I think. Yep. Um, Chris, and, Chris and Ben. Yep. Yep. And then gets a two because Ben was actually your Stormcore amnesiac, as he said publicly, and Chris was your devil's advocate. What, so you've um, given me a one. Uh, I think I gave. Nope. Okay, um, there you go. There's another mistake. Fun times. Um, oh, because I hadn't woken Ben up yet. Because I'd woke Ben up last. Um, mm -hmm. Ben, your amnesiac, I'll run through his ability in a minute. Adam was your gossip. He killed Patrick. Uh, the night before last, uh, with the gossip that there is a pucker in play at the time, that was correct. Um, Adam was your gossip. Adam. 
Yeah. Like if I was covering for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nadine, as mentioned, your starting goon gets turned evil on night one. Um, we'll come back to Nadine. Chris, as I've mentioned, is your devil's advocate. Nikki, your cult leader. Because Nadine, your goon, was turned evil on night one, Nikki, your cult leader, who is sat between Chris, the devil's advocate, and Evie, the pit hag, cannot <laughs> turn evil. Wow. Nikki sat there, watches his two neighbours, goes and have a conversation. He's like, well, this is sus as hell. Um, and he could not turn evil. He proceeded to not be able to turn evil because Evie, the pit hag, night two, tries to turn someone into the cult leader. I can't actually remember who Nikki. it was. Nikki. Yes, Nikki into the cult leader, so that went well. Um, then night two, knowing Chris and Evie having coordinated and discovered that Nadine was probably the goon that they think is... Well, because the poker kill didn't go through, so Kat knew that she was the goon, therefore the others knew that she was the goon. Chris, the DA, picks Nadine to take out the goon ability, and Evie, your pit hag, turns Nadine into the assassin. Love you guys. This is going to... No. We're going to come back to all of that as well in a bit. Uh, Emma was your huntsman. Emma, your huntsman, had Richie the damsel. Unfortunately for Emma, <laughs> on night two, Cat picked Richie. So on night three, oh. Richie died. I went and woke up Emma and went, would you like to use your ability? And she said, yes, it's definitely Richie. And I went, would you like to choose someone else with your ability? And she went off. <laughs> she was not happy about this. Um, so she didn't ever use her ability as the huntsman because... <sighs> Richie was dead and was actually the damsel. Aggie, your savant. Um, so we, I'm now going to go... I've mentioned Aggie's ability. I'm going to come back to Ben now. Ben's ability as the amnesiac was each night, pick a player, learn how many A's there are in their character name. Ben picks Chris, the devil's advocate, on night one and gets a two because devil's advocate has two A's in it. Chris semi-randomly has picked the cannibal bluff which has two a's in it nailed it good work chris <laughs> didn't even know it was happening uh ben then picks aggie the savant night two two a's gets a two then picks uh cat the claim the at the time pucker who is claiming general again out of the bluffs one a for pucker <laughs> one a for general. we're on to a roll here um and then ben fully intending last night to pick evie claiming politician actually the pit hag you see uh, how this is going you're wrong the there, <laughs> I, was, I was gonna pick adam last Thanks. night because gossip has okay. zero a's in it fair enough um yeah so the evil team random chance into the exact correct bluffs that I had specifically lined up for Ben's amnesiac ability and went, they've got a one in three chance of getting this right. And they did. Um, on a related note, Aggie's savant information. Uh, at the start of the game, I fully intended every sentence I gave Aggie to start with A, just as a like stupid little hint to Ben, if he ever <laughs> noticed, if anyone ever noticed that every single bit of Aggie's savant information started with an A. Interestingly, um, Aggie's savant information went something like, there is an assassin in play, at least one outside enables an e neighbours an evil player. There was no assassin at the time, as we've just discovered, an assassin mm -hmm. was created later, and both outsiders neighboured evil players. Dam Richie the damsel next to Cat the leech, and Nadine the goon next to Chris the devil's advocate. Uh, I gave her something on night two which wasn't particularly interesting, but on... Oh, sorry, on day two. On day three, I got to again give her there is an assassin in play as the true piece of information because I was genuinely trying to warn the town. There really is an assassin in play now. You do actually have to pay attention again. Ed, assassin uh, beats Pit Hag, doesn't it? Assassin beats Pit Hag. Um, so, last night, oh, Chris, your DA, it. protects Evie, the Pit Hag. Perfectly reasonable. Evie, your Pit Hag, turns cat into the leech. Cat agonizes for a very long time as to who should be her host. Eventually picks Adam. It is an arbitrary death night, so I didn't have to take a cat's kill choice of, of Aggie, but it didn't really matter at this point because the next thing that happened is Nadine, the assassin, <laughs> who overpowers the pit hag arbitrary deaths, killed Adam, the leech host, to kill Adam, Cat, and Aggie <laughs> all in one night. I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. I mean, Beautiful. she could have killed me as well, I guess, but... Happy thousandth so game, Ed. Nearly, I so <laughs> Happy nearly Happy thousandth game. 
Hang on. When do the pit happy. hag deaths happen? The pit hag deaths happen have... can happen through the night, but no matter what. Uh, Could you have killed Nadine before she used her ability? I could have, but this was way funnier. I'm surprised you didn't pick me. I, didn't pick me. <laughs> I know. I was hoping Ben would have been picked. Um, I, I Kat Maybe went back and ben. forth between Aggie and Ben as really strong options. Ben, um, yeah, because yeah, the town trusted Aggie, for, and Ben was obviously just entertaining for many reasons. Um, so. I'll just observe, because Noel even managed to spot this and ask me the question about it. I made a mistake on night one, because technically, technically, fabled are characters, which means under the definition of the mathematician ability, yes, Cat's ability malfunctioned because of the goon. Also, Nikki's ability malfunctioned because of the Spirit of Ivory, which is a character, therefore Noel should have got a two. Um, but like I said, didn't really matter. Oh, that's um, very useful info to know. Uh, if someone's made it all the way through this two-hour game on YouTube, you've now learned. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, do you, you want to know the other lovely bit of information to that game? Go for it. Uh, I pretty much outed to who I suspected was a good player, Nadine, but I was the damsel, hoping to find someone to trust with and then keep my head down. Which nearly worked, aside from she was the goon and turned evil. Beautiful. Nice. I didn't know who to tell at the on time, night, though. On night yeah. one. So, if, you, if, you, another... if you were semi-trusted... Wow, that was nuts. <laughs> that, was, that was a really good game. 